Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor with FreedomOutpost.com, and I am bringing to you information that came out January 23rd, 2016. The reason I am doing this is to make sure that both sides have the ability to be heard, not just one side. Um, according to different things that have been said on live stream TV, Mr. Santilli stated that Tom Lacavera Stewart has a felony, um, and that I guess became a concern to FBI uh, state law enforcement officers in the area. So all I'm simply doing is I am reading to you Mr. Tom Lacavera's statement for press release so that both sides are being heard. Mr. Santilli obviously has his live stream uh, in which he is being heard by the world, so I feel like it is uh, fair that uh, Tom Lacavera Stewart's side is absolutely heard as well. And then you can make your decision. Again, I am reading his exact statement. You will see that. And I am not going to add to nor take away uh, from what the statement says. This right here, as you can see, is Tom Lacavera Stewart's statement. It says, Statement by Thomas Robert Lacavera Stewart, press release from Harney County, Oregon. One of the most proud things I have done in my life. I was honored to have Ryan ask me to design this sign and submit it to the sign maker. It was one of the last things I could do for him before I had to go. I chose to leave and will explain here as follows to squash the rumors and misinformation. Because I love Ammon Bundy. And Ryan Bundy. The attention and distraction that was leveled at me that was requested by the leadership that it ceased did not cease. And in fact, a certain talk show personality had used thuggery tactics by causing, ah, uh, okay, that I'm, my presence became about constantly having to defend myself. I was also outed as some kind of arch felon regarding a charge that was neither violent nor constitutionally a felony. Peter Thomas Santilli, who had actually committed a far ser more serious charge, which I still say should not be, but is, by having a gun loaded in the front seat of a car that was pulled over, was released without charge or incident within hours, and was thus on his way to Oregon. While my charge was some 10 years ago and was my girlfriend at the time, I and I pawning some gold that we had after two hurricanes tore down our home. Her mother had gifted one of the items and it was and was vindictive and angry that had me charged as she had the receipt. But Peter Thomas Santilli would rather attack me over an unconstitutional charge and tell everyone on air that I was armed and endangering everyone, but lied to everyone as my civil rights were restored, a fact that he should have checked before defaming me in front of the world. I traveled from Texas, leaving my truck behind for my fiance so she would not be stuck leaving her as much money as I could, to come all the way to Oregon to have Pete do what he has always done, attack those who exposed his act of theft and deception during the trucker's ride for the Constitution. I had thought there was a possibility that he may have found Christ and repaired his soul. As Ammon and Ryan have said, we do not care if he is a fed or working with them, as we will minister to him and by our own actions, win him over. This is why I love those men like brothers. It is also why I choose to leave, 
at least as long as it takes for the damage that Santilli did to me on the inside with all of his loyal trolls who do not know his intentions to be what they are. Spread fear, division, distraction, gather intel, and share it between his trolls, using it to attack many very good patriots. Because of this, as I said, I chose to leave, and will cover the story as best as I can. Now, with the knowledge I have regarding information on the inside, it is not fair to the movement, the Bundy family, or all of those patriots who took a stand for a huge injustice for me to allow this to become without me. Pete knows what he is doing, and he absolutely makes it all about him. Ryan can confirm that I made this choice and was not asked to leave. I was the only reporter with a daily radio broadcast embedded on location with the love of the Lord Jesus Christ and a Christian broadcast. Unfortunately, narcissistic personalities who promulgate fear and who caused I cannot count on how many conversations among the insiders that scared the ever-loving hell out of them. This is something that cannot be easily seen. I made my choice after praying about it. Pete has called me a fake Christian patriot, but I was one that was there 24-7, not staying in a motel and visiting occasionally his groupies and celebrity turned good friends against one another, causing more division. I would only ask that all patriots and godly people please be careful about laying down with a dog because you might just end up waking up with fleas. And while many believe that God will protect them from these things, sometimes they do not realize that a man who has received a calling to travel all the way to earn them might might be the red flag they need to realize that making a deal with the ungodly to gain widespread attention just might not be that good of an idea. In my opinion, they should handle their media in-house, period. It would have not only avoided this, but it would have prevented any discontent not not be inside and it has absolutely caused that i will have a full disclosure of harney county locals revealing massive perpetual systematic corruption upcoming stay close to rtrtruthmedia.com so as you can see this is uh, tom lacavera stewart's uh, release of information to be able to get his information and his side of the story out um, and I will let you know uh, the more information that I get um, I'm not here to promote fighting or infighting or anything else however if someone is accused of something by someone um, then I believe they should have a right to speak out on their own behalf. And uh, I myself have also uh, taken up note on different individuals that have attacked Mr. Santilli as well, saying, hey, you know, it needs to stop. And because this is about the movement. So, the uh, same courtesy needs to be shown to others who are uh, attacked by Mr. Santilli or by anyone else whom does it. It needs to be fair and just for everybody, not pick and choose. So uh, with that, I will say good night. God bless you. You now have Mr. Lacavera's statement, and uh, I'm sure he will be giving more information via his radio show. 
Thank you. God bless you. Semper Fidelis.